welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel please be sure to subscribe watch all my other videos kind of figure out what we're about here on this channel but I'm gonna jump right into it I can say with a hundred percent confidence that the number one um, topic of questions that I receive are on nutrition people always ask me what did you eat when you were doing this program what do you eat day to day what do you buy like what do you not eat um, do you have a meal plan all this different stuff and I want to say straight off the bat I am NOT a person that you should be coming to for like really intense nutritional advice I eat clean I always have even as a child I preferred I prefer perverted huh I prefer fruits and vegetables over junk any day I don't eat candy I'm not big on candy I do like sweets but it's something that I don't eat every single day but for the most part like I'm really boring in the kitchen y'all like I don't like to cook so I'm already in the kitchen enough during the day preparing meals and um, you know packing lunches for school so I don't tend to get too crazy in the kitchen I don't get too crafty but I you know I do eat clean and I do have some ideas so I thought that I could oh and my whole point in that was saying that I'm just like really really boring I pretty much find the meals that I like and I stick with them for weeks or months at a time so like today I already know what I'm eating the meals that you'll be seeing today are probably the meals that I'm gonna be eating for the next month or so so anyways I thought that I would take you guys along with me today grab my vlogging camera which I haven't done in forever and show you guys on the reel what I'm eating. No high production, no fancy editing. Just bringing you along with me and showing you what I'm eating. So I am actually about to go eat breakfast before I start my workout. So if you guys want to come join me, let's jump right into it. All right, guys. Good morning. It is 9.16 in the morning. And I'm going to be having my first meal of the day, which I will show you now. So I am going to be having overnight oats, which is one of my favorite meals because it is so easy. It makes my life a million times more simple. I am also going to pull out some, where did I put it? Oh, I already put it out. Some almond milk to add to that. And is there anything else in the fridge? Usually I do Greek yogurt, but I'm out of that right now. So my fridge is a mess. So we have almond milk. I am also going to, am I making you guys dizzy? <laughs> I'm also going to take a green apple. Usually I do strawberries, but I wanted a bit more crunch this morning, so we are going with a green apple. And lastly, we are gonna take little silvered almonds. So that just gives it more depth and more of a crunch as well. what breakfast typically looks like for me I grab my food by the way this portion size very very large I use the fixate um, or the 21 day fix container system you guys know I've talked about it many many times on this channel this is 21 day fix approved this portion size so you could have this much oatmeal oops I'm making a mess and be good and I forgot to mention I always 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 carry around water bottles like this one usually this is the one I carry around um, water is so crucial and I make sure I drink one of these full things before I eat any breakfast that is my breakfast you guys will be seeing me later probably around like 11 o'clock or earlier for a snack so see you then All right, so it is now 1 30 p.m. I did not end up having my morning snack because something came up. I had to leave the house for a few hours, help my husband with some stuff at work, and it's just been kind of a crazy morning. And my eyes, you see my makeup's like everywhere because I went into a store and my eyes started burning. But, um, yeah, so normally I have Shakeology for my mid-morning snack around 11 o'clock maybe because it gives me a lot of energy, so I prefer to have it in the beginning of the day as opposed to the end of the day where it might keep me up all night. 
So, but I didn't have that today, so now I am having lunch. And if you follow me on Snapchat, which you should be, <laughs> you would have seen this lunch probably 20 million times because I eat it every single day. And that is the Calabrese salad from Fixate, the 21 Day Fix Cookbook, which is really just Capri salad. So I will insert, 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 I will insert a clip of how I make it and whatnot, but it's basically just tomatoes and mozzarella, basil, pesto, and balsamic vinaigrette and then salt and pepper to season. Now, I've eaten it tons of different ways. I've just sliced the tomatoes and stacked it all on top of each other. I have used cherry tomatoes and just thrown it all in together. So basically, just as long as you have tomatoes and mozzarella cheese, you are good to go. But definitely my favorite lunch. Um, some things have come up, so I actually have to go watch my sister-in-law's for the night, so um, dinner and snack is gonna be kind of challenging, but we're gonna make it work, and I will show you guys that when we get there. So until the next one. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, an emergency kind of came up, and now I'm at my in-law's house babysitting their children. So I came over here, it is snack time. It is 1.47 p.m. Since I missed my morning snack, it's important to get the second one in. So they actually drink Shakeology as well. They buy it from me. And um, they have tropical strawberries. So what I did was I just mixed it in with some orange juice, which I never do. And I mixed it in with a bunch of ice, so it's like a slushy. And I, it has probably been at least a year since I have blended up my Shakeology. When I first started drinking Shakeology, I did it with a bunch of ice and it was chocolate Shakeology, ton of ice because it kept me full for a really long time. But now I'm always on the go. I'm so busy. So I tend to just throw in a bunch of ice and shake it. So I'm going to have a really cold, really thick Shakeology slushy, and that will be my snack until we have dinner later when I'm going to be probably cooking fish. But it is now 6.30 and I am preparing dinner. I'm actually going to be doing Mahi Mahi and I'm going to be seasoning it with this seasoning from Raw Spice Bar called Baharat. I guess it's it's a, well I'll post all the information. I'll, I'll talk about it once I put it on and see how I like it but it is this so that is what we are going to be doing for dinner for the kind of main core. All right guys, so we are closing in on the end of the day. And again, I'm not in my space, so the lighting is bad and whatever, things are not perfect. But if you have followed my like what I eat in a day videos in the past, then you would know that I eat really super kind of clean the whole day and then for dinner, I relax because I enjoy food and that's kind of the time that I get to spend with my husband. So we just, you know, eat kind of whatever we want. Um, so tonight we had, this is mahi mahi, oh my god the lighting is so bad. This is corn, um, homemade mac and cheese, and gallo pinto which is rice and beans, rice and, that's brown rice and beans. And I seasoned the fish with this seasoning called baharat from raw spice bar. It says, Bahara is a spice staple in Turkish cooking. The name itself means spices in Arabic. Used in everything from seafood to soup, our blend brings together coriander, cumin, and black peppercorn with warm spices like cinnamon, allspice, and cloves, rounded out by sweet, non-hot paprika. Now, this company actually reached out to me and sent me these. And how it works is it's one of those subscription services. So for $6 a month, they send you three of these. And each month, it's like a new different kind of blend. They team up with, um, you know, top chefs and bloggers and they take old family recipes and they create these things. I think it's pretty cool because I am not one who, I was not raised up cooking. I don't enjoy it. So to me, like making a dish and going, oh, it needs oregano and it needs basil. Like I'm completely lost to all that. So I kind of just guess. So I do enjoy that they send you these with with all these different things mixed together so you can try them out. Um, again, it's $6 per month. I will leave the information down below, the website, all of that stuff, but 
it can't hurt to try if you're looking to kind of season up your food. Um, so that is that. I have tried two so far. I enjoy them. I'm not somebody who's like, oh my gosh, this is so good. Like, this is amazing because I just don't, I don't taste things that deeply. Um, but I do enjoy them and the husband is enjoying them because it's a change up from the normal. So, and this is the point where the video ends because children are coming in the room needing mommy to help with dinner. So that is what I eat in a typical day. I would love to hear like some of your favorite go-to meals like my lunch, a capri salad, that is my go-to. Please leave it down in the comment section below. I love to hear it. I love getting new ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Bye.